Hey, welcome back to Mail Call Monday. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> and this is... Your mother. Your mother? This is my Bea mother. B. McQueen. It's B. McQueen's my mother. You wouldn't want to squeeze his head out of there. No. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> thanks everybody for watching another exciting Mail Call Monday. We got one piece of mail, which appears to be a leftover from Christmas. We're going to open that up in just a minute. And we're going to answer a lot of questions about B's 1971 Carmen Ghia that's here behind us, because people have been asking a lot of stuff about it. And if you guys keep watching, and you do watch us over on Duckman Cycles VW Garage, you'll see us doing some work on this thing this Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday, video coming up. Make sure you look for it. So, we got this first package here. It appears to be from Jody. From Jody. My boyfriend up in Canada. Yeah, you heard that right. I got a boyfriend in Canada. Hey, Jody, big shouts to you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's see what he sent us. Is there a note? Anything? Nope. No? Does it say anything on packaging, even? Okay, he just sent us a gift. Which looks like it's either a keychain or it's almost the size of a coaster, but it's got a Krampus on it. Maybe it's even a Christmas ornament. Maybe that's what he intended to be. Ah. It looks like it was handmade by an artist. Got a really loud jet flying over us, but that's kind of cool. It's kind of kind of um, Christmas creepy, which I, I kind of like that. Like the Krampus movie that came out about uh, five, six, seven years ago. Have you ever seen that one? No. There's a Christmas movie, but it's got a, a little bit of horror or suspense to it. Nice. You found a finger hole? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much Jody for that. I like it because it is a little creepy and it doesn't have to be only for Christmas. I might just hang hang that on the you know like a rearview mirror or something. I think that's kind of cool. Thanks Jody. I really appreciate that. Well, before we come on back, uh we're going to roll the intro and then we're going to answer some questions about bees Carmagia. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Sun's going down, so we're gonna try to answer up these questions quickly. B, this is your Carmen Ghia. Yes. What is the thing that you're most excited to do to it next? Drive it. That's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> the next question we got asked, what color do you plan to paint it? Shh. I'll give you three guesses, but you'll probably only need one. Next question. <laughs> probably or? <laughs> All right, well, this is kind of quick, quicker than I expected to be. Uh, you really said. don't want to give it away? It's or, gonna be blue. Okay, well there it is, it's given away. But what? I'm not sure what kind of blue yet. You're not sure what kind of blue? It'll either be like a powder blue or maybe the original Olympia. Olympia blue. blue. Haven't okay. decided. Well that's that's period, correct for this. That will be something that Earl and I discuss. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to roll out a contest with that, so you actually you didn't want it? Okay. Yeah. As if you know by watching my videos on Eleanor, we are winning a contest on that. Earl will be re revealing details on it in the future. He and I will be working close together. If you watched last week's video, I actually did a color reveal without doing a color reveal. I made the camera go black on purpose, which frustrated the crap out of a lot of people, and it was kind of fun. But next question. B, once you've got this car together, what kind of engine do you want to put in it? I don't know. You don't know? I don't. Do you have a guess at all? I mean, you're looking to do performance, or you're just looking to do factory reliable? Um, for something I can drive around for fun. Nothing super crazy, nothing super fast, so I don't know. Probably a stock, or maybe just stock minor bolt-on modifications. Maybe. Kind of like what Ruby has. Yeah. yeah, just not too much, just enough to get you there, and yeah. won't be overpriced either. That makes a lot of respectable sense, and it won't cost you a whole lot of money, so <laughs> that's the easiest way to get it. Uh, would you be interested in perhaps someday uploading? uploading? <laughs> would you be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's upload the Carmen Ghia. You Gia. wouldn't download a car, would you? <laughs> I don't know. I've downloaded a lot of things. Anyway. I've downloaded a lot of people. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. Once you've got the engine in there, okay. do you have perhaps any plans to upgrade to something else, like a Subaru engine, or I've even heard the question of a Mazda rotary engine, going with a full-on wankle? Why? That's what I gotta ask. No. The answer is no. Real simply, just no. no. You wouldn't even consider it? I can't rule out the possibility that I'd never consider it, but uh -huh. it's really not on my mind now. Well, that's kind of a good kind of a good question anyway, because this car has a water gauge on the dashboard for the water temperature. Mm -hmm. 
and Volkswagens, as you know, don't have a water temperature anywhere. There's no water cooling whatsoever. It's all air cooled. So for the fact that it had that on there, it's either somebody's idea of a joke, or they had a Subaru or ro you know rotary engine in here at some point, something that was water cooled. There was also some cutouts around the engine compartment area where it looked like somebody had removed something before they put it back in. Mm -hmm. And rumor has it from the guy that I bought the car from that they may have had something like a Subaru in it previously. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you would want to go back to do something like that again. And the fact that the gauge is there, you'd save yourself 50 bucks buying a gauge. <laughs> <laughs> Just figure I'd throw knows? it out there, Can't but out. right now at this moment, that's a no. Would you plan on any unusual, different, or custom wheels? No, just, We're just a, gonna color match. Just color matched to body, body color matched, and then chrome hubcap. So pretty much stock looking. Something, white wall tires. Uh, white wall tires. That's actually kind of a good question. We actually have the set of white wall tires. We'll review them in the future. They're in a, a spare closet inside the house right now. Um. I remember when else there was. Uh, butts. Butts. Okay, do we like to do butt stuff in the Carmen Ghia? No, not big enough. Your butt or the Carmen Ghia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you consider another Volkswagen after this Carmen Ghia? Yes. Yes. But. But I would really like to turn my attention to an older truck. An older truck? Yes. Perhaps an older Ford or Chevy or something, yes. American style truck mm -hmm. with uh, big bubbly fenders or you're looking for something a little newer? Don't know. Don't know? Don't so know. So just, just whatever. Just looking for an older project right, truck. Huh? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. And if you put it, retrofit it with modern engine and accessories too, you can actually replace your F-150. Hopefully. Yeah, that'd be another way to do it. So then you have your style and you have your creature comforts and all the modern conveniences of you know, putting together modern stuff. And, and it's not too expensive to do that either if you buy an older wreck, or newer wreck truck that's not too new mm -hmm. and retrofit everything back in the old we'll body and, and chassis. So something to consider. It's getting a little dark out here, so we're gonna wrap this up. We only have uh, a couple more minutes and we'll wrap up a full 10. If not, we'll just put some filler at the end of this video, something fun for you guys to watch. Uh, yeah, there'll be bloopers, but still, there's not that many minutes left. Um, if you were interested in another Volkswagen, what would be your next choice? Ooh. I don't know. Having been to the car shows, you've seen them all. Well, most. Most. I mean, there are a few rarer models, but even a few of those turn up at the last car show, like the Puma. I didn't see that one. You didn't see that one, the red Puma? It looked like uh, like a, a Datsun 240. Oh, yes. Yeah, it very much resembled that, but it's okay. all Volkswagen based. And I thought it was Type 3 platform, but it's not. It's Type 1, like a Beetle, Ooh. all on the engine on the inside. And it's uh, incredibly cramped to get into. <laughs> For you, it'd probably be fine. For me, it's oh, not Maybe something. Maybe we do something with. fun, like a convertible beetle or something. Convertible beetle. Yeah. Okay. Would you chop the roof off yourself and make it like a like a hot rod bucket? No. Okay. You want a proper convertible? Yeah. Factory looking yeah. stock convertible. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So you wouldn't want to chop up that super beetle then? I thought uh, Rachel was gonna buy it. Uh, Rachel's got a beetle. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rachel got herself a rat rod beetle. Uh, we'll probably be showing that on the channel sometime coming up soon. Uh, of course, when it's a little more light out, we're losing that light very quickly. <laughs> but uh, she got herself a rat rod beetle. It's fenderless, uh, two-tone blue and silver. And I'm sorry, red and silver, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I need some brake work and other stuff. She wanted to bring it over here to like leave it here for me to work on, but that's not what I do here. I mean, you're you, so we're doing this here. But if she wants to come over with the car, we'll work on it together, but then it's got to go home. So it's different this one's been here for years. It's just another car in my yard, but I can't take on another project at this point. But no, no, Rachel's not interested in the Super Beetle. Uh, at least I don't think she still is, but we'll see what happens with that and what she's going to do with hers. I think currently she's uh, in Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. You know about that then? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't even know they were allowing anybody in Hawaii at this point, so I don't even know how she did it's it. It's a U.S. state. Yeah, but I still think they weren't allowing anybody in. I don't know how they're doing it. I thought they just canned all the flights, so I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not one to judge. I don't control air traffic. I'm not going to try to. I'm not even going to try to understand what people decide when they decide to do things. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. We're always having a good time. Again, we'll be doing videos on the Carmen Ghia coming up this Wednesday, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to Duckman Cycles VW Garage over my the YouTube channel. Uh, if you're over on this one already, you probably already know about it. If you're over on the other one, they don't always know about this one. And um, I think that's about it for today. Something you'd like to add? We do point pointing to boobies. Sure. What were you pointing at? Nothing. Just pointing. Nothing. No, that's not nothing. You got a whole lot of nothing there. I have a lot of nothing. <laughs> oh, look at those nothings. <laughs> you can see those nothings on a site only for my biggest fans. 
And you can find the link to that by going to duckshit.net, my website. You'll find it, her Instagram, her Patreon, my Instagram, my Patreon. And Twitter. Yeah, also my Twitter page. You have a Twitter page too. I have a Twitter. And uh, I've got two tweeters, I suppose. And um, I don't have myself one of them special fan pages yet, though. I feel left out. Well, you should. Yeah, I probably should. Okay. I think I'll get into that one day. Someday. I guess we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Well, maybe we won't if the world keeps blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. <laughs> I, I can't speak anymore. Bye. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>